Welcome. My name is Michael Mastro. Uh, my YouTube channel, Bostu Creations. Please subscribe. Today we're going to look at the chart for Barbara Streisand, who just um, recently got a special SAG award in 2024, February 24th. Um, if you look to the eastern horizon when she was born, you would see the constellation associated with Pisces uh, rising at 15 degrees. She has an, a remarkable chart. Um, so first we're going to look and see how the planets are operating, supporting her successes, um, giving her some challenges, and then we'll see the timing of events, how the planets affect the timing of events in her life and what could be done to strengthen the chart. So first off, uh, Sun is ruling the sixth house, which is a challenging house having to do with uh, health issues and um, inner conflict, and uh, so sun and and sun is the main indicator for her health, and sun is associated with digestion and uh, heart issues, and she does have a COPD, a con congestive heart failure, um, uh, and her father um passed away when she was only 15 which was uh traumatic for her and then we have a challenging um let's see uh, and 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 so sun becomes any uh uh multiconus sign in the sixth eighth or the twelfth and in this case it's the sixth house it it can be challenging for her then we have moon moon is uh ruling the uh, house of creativity and, and, and entertainment, and uh, it is placed in the uh, in its own sign. So it's very powerful for her. Gives her creativity through entertainment for it for the public, basically. And then we have Mars. Mars is also uh, strong. It is. Um, ruling the house of wealth and fame and placed in the house of happiness. So this connects her her happiness to uh, wanting to be famous and and uh, and wealthy and uh, gives her recognition that the second house has to do with um, the voice and the throat and she does have a, a Graves disease so from time to time, Mars has to do with inflammation and, and it was afflicted, um, affecting her voice, etc. Then we have weak, afflicted by sun, Mercury. Mercury is ruling the marriage house or the partnership house. She did have two divorces. Um, and Mercury is sitting in her house of wealth and fame, but also it has to do with the marital stability. And uh, so it is afflicted uh, by sun and gives her, you know, some issues with, um, she had lots and lots of relationships and um, some relationship issues. And then also from time to time, controversial speech. She's quite an activist for several uh, political and non-political organizations. Then we have weak old Jupiter. Jupiter is um, slightly an old age and more than 25 degrees. Um, and when a planet is older, it has trouble per, um, protecting its own significations. So, uh, we have Jupiter ruling the house of career and uh, it gives her career through Jupiter sitting in the house of performing arts. So it connects performing arts with her career and also makes her um, very influ influential. Um, and, you know, she's paved the way for lots of women and directing through directing and uh, uh, acting, uh, you know, since the sixties, very long career and, you know, opened up the roles for women in directing and producing and acting and singing, etc. Then we have, uh, challenging Venus. Venus is, uh, 
uh, you see the um, Libra, uh, the seventh sign of Libra in the eighth house, which is also a challenging house. And uh, Venus is sitting in the 12th house. So it's the, the placement is uh, not ideal in that uh, challenging 12th house. And it is also challenging in itself. But it, it gives her the ability to express the eighth house signification of vulnerability through her uh, singing and acting, which makes her very likable, relatable. Then we have a uh, challenging Saturn. Saturn is, um, you see the 11th sign of Aquarius in the 12th house. And uh, Aquarius is ruled by Saturn. So Saturn becomes challenging from time to time. It is sitting in her house of success and performing arts. Um, it just gives her the ability to take on these different roles. So the 12th house has to do with separation, separation from who you are so that you can take on different roles as a director, producer, actress, singer, which she's done all of those different things. Uh, and then, uh, and especially at a time when it was difficult for a female to do those things in the 60s. Um, then we have Rahu and Ketu. They're always challenging for every um, chart. And in this case, uh, Rahu and Ketu are within three degrees of the rising sign degree, which means they have impact on all the houses they aspect, which is six out of the 12 houses. So they uh, afflict the career, the health, um, but she is doing uh, charity work, donating to a Hebrew school, which is transforming, uh, which is a spiritual organization, which transforms uh, K2. And then Rahu is transformed for all the other charity work she does, who the, especially the uh, female or, or uh, women's heart disease research. Um, so that all contributes to her success. Then let's look at the timing of events. Uh, in 61, she got a big break to be on the Tonight Show during a Mars period, Mars bringing some fame and wealth. Married uh, Elliot Gould, a very famous actor in 63 during a Mars period, which Mars is also ruling the house of marital stability. Um, she had a son in 66 during a Venus period. Um, Venus brings big transformation, ruling that eighth house. Uh, then she got separated from Elliot Gould in 68 during a sun period. Sun is ruling the house of conflict and divorce. Then in 76, um, one of her many, well, she got a um, Oscar and She's got many, many Golden Globes, but um, this was for uh, A Star is Born. And that's during a Jupiter period. Um, Jupiter's ruling her career, giving a boost to her career. Uh, then uh, in 98, she married James Broland uh, during a Mercury period. Mercury's ruling the house of uh, marriage. In 2001, she got a... a a major award during a Mars period. Mars is again ruling the house of fame. Uh, mom died in 2002 uh, during a Rahu period. Rahu uh, bringing major life changes. 2003, she was involved in an accident. I guess her chauffeur hit another car or something like that and she had to have brain surgery. And this is during a Saturn period. Saturn is ruling the house of surgery. And then uh, you see on the left, there's a circular chart. The outer circle is where the planets were on that day. The inner circle is much like the rectangular chart on your right, where the planets were sh when she was born. So you can see that uh, Sun in the eighth house of accidents is uh, afflicting uh, Moon and Mercury. Mercury um, has to do with the brain. And then um, K2 is afflicting Venus, uh, and Venus is ruling the house of accidents. And then also um, natal K2 is afflicting 
uh, transits Saturn in the house of happiness. Uh, so yeah, many things going on uh, when that accident occurred. Then, um, then uh, she also, her, her beloved dog for I think 13 years uh, passed away uh, in 2017 during a moon period. Now moon uh, rules the fifth house. Fifth house has to do with children and pets. So that uh, connects that. And then she got the SAG award to uh, February 24th, 2024 uh, during a uh, moon period, which moon is ruling the house of entertainment. So uh, uh, what could be done to strengthen the chart? Well, just uh, wearing my, fa my favorite remedy is a kavash, which is a silver locket containing the David Tom um, mantras and yantras for her benefic planets. Um, that could be helpful. She's already doing a lots of charity work. Um, I think she's donated $24 million to different charities, um, including uh, uh, Zelensky for the Ukraine war. Um, so if you'd like to get a kavash or get a reading or learn Vedic astrology, go to www.bastucreations.com. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.